I'm proud to be an American. <laughs> the British, the right. huh? Huh? <laughs> it literally has an American flag on your thing. That's I, what I, I said. Didn't, I didn't say nothing. I ain't seen no. Tokyo Tour. Tokyo Blur. I can't even lie, I don't even know why I downloaded this again. I got bored. You're just looking for snowballs, aren't you? Why you went to look at snowballs, bro. You went to you, you winter soldier. Brother, am I Elliot? Yes. I was trying to pre the lines. Bro, it's a gutter bunny, bro. I saw Elliot's worse. Not by his own fault. <laughs> look what you're surrounded by, bro. You have to take his options. I'm, I'm, trying, to, I'm trying to go for the sunshine views. Just so. Oh, damn. They're all mid. <laughs> wow. I said they're all mid. You know, I'm just saying. I mean, yeah, a lot of them are mid. I can't even lie, bro. Did you look- say this one mid, though? I wasn't talking about you. No, did you say that's mid? No. Atlanta. JTL. Damn it. Damn it. Oh. Ugh. Okay, I was talking to her and I got a PlayStation as well. PlayStation? You got, you got PlayStation. Oh, PlayStation. my! Oh, okay. Okay. Where is it? Because she sent me the PSN. Oh. That is advanced, bro. That's a That's like, imagine I'm talking to someone and they say, hey, here's my outlook. That's a W. <laughs> yeah, bro. Yeah, but hey, PlayStation, that PlayStation, that, that's pretty elite, man. Yeah, because now is it? Because I told her that I was just banging out cards. She's like, oh, what comes to DM? I said, that's that PlayStation over there, but PlayStation. I was like, what, five or four? I was like, five, obviously. And I was like, what do you have? Obviously. Five. That's yeah, it, obviously. She said, five, obviously. I was like, Sati. Sati. <laughs> right, give me a PSN. Say this. Mm-hmm. Fair enough, man. It's a new time, man. No more, Facebook's dead. <laughs> and the thing is, I chat about that game that she plays. She plays, was it? Uh, God of War Ragnarok, the most. Oh, is wow. It? Cultured, no? Mm. But she doesn't really get that much time to play. No! Damn. Because imagine that her work shift like 10 hours, bro. 10 um, oh, hours. I mean, you know I do them, eight. You know that one's there? I mean, you should be getting some mad paper if you're doing Bro, it. I cannot keep depending on Funky Kong to do well, something. My, my like shift used to be 10 hours. <laughs> But what, now you do, what was it, 8? No, yeah, 8, yeah. Guy, I, it was just fucking about the schedule, sleeping schedule. Well, of course, because if you're doing like 10 hours of work, and then, what is it, as soon as you even get home, you're doing like a, maybe another two hour travel. Mm, yeah, exactly, that does get to you. To yeah. yard, and then by the time you're even there, you have to actually sleep at that time. Exactly, and then just, but yeah. And get pl- some freedom, man. And plus, I had weight gain as well. Mm, mm. Yeah, at that time, you were just eating Popeyes 24-7, bro. So, no, <laughs> not even Popeyes, just anything. Mm. Yeah, well, because yeah, you don't have time ta- to go home and cook, right? But majority yeah. of the time, yeah, you know she just send us the pictures of Popeyes. Yeah, yeah, nah, yeah. To be fair, uni just did me dirty, bro. Fucking hell, bro. <laughs> <laughs> uni done everyone dirty. I, uni did me dirty. Well, not everyone, because we never went uni, bro. Oh, <laughs> when yeah. they went uni, we was working. Mm. That is true, bro. But now, now we're creating content. We, like, to be fair, though, I prefer being the way I am. Not bro. me, I, I ain't got no job, man. I'm, I'm broke, bro. Majority of us are awake and we're tired of this thing. Bro, I'm done, bro. I'm done with this. It's not even a nine to five. Bro. I'm tired of this. I do a ten to. to f- I do a ten to six, man. Bro, I've done a. Bro, s- I do seven in the morning till four thirty. You know. I feel like that's the bro. best sort of shift, though. That's really not, that f- one was. The seven best. to three would no, be the best shift. No, seven to three then. Yeah, that's the best. I feel that seven to three would be the best shift. No, for, not for me. Terrible. Because when because when I do eight to four, I just feel off. Bro, I do ten to six. Bro, I'll be so real, like, finishing at 6 o'clock sucks. No, respectable on that one. If, for me, because obviously that's what I like to sleep late, so I'd rather do the 10 to 6. Yeah, fair enough, but I mean, I'm thinking you don't have, you don't want a social life. <laughs> it's hard to have a social life finishing at 6, man. Oh, no, for me, it's fine. Fair enough. Especially, you, I mean, I work in Brixton, so it's like... I mean, I was I was working up in, what is it, West Corridor, so I'm like, what? Oh, man? right, so you're right in the middle. I mean, I guess it's the same with Brixton, but like... Okay. Yeah, so I was working up there. I was working there for a good year, bro. Mm. I'm still in Central. Yeah, so Fair enough. You're fine. Oh, yeah. How did it feel? Because of the... Uh, didn't Russell Square close because of the uh, strikes? I think so. Yeah, yeah. Because they did. They just did a walkout. Because yes. the strike got uh, no, cancelled. No, they're, they're still open. Still open. Because I remember um, they were saying... Yeah, but obviously, like, how, how much traffic though? Yeah, exactly. Like buses and stuff. Oh, sure. Oh, that's bad. Yeah. yeah no, I took well, the when day it comes off, to them right? times, there's the worst. I, I took the day off, man. I was like, no. But nah. there's, there's been times where I've worked here. And because there was a strike... Like some of the workers who were working did not even come to work, but I still went because I'm, I'm trying to still get paid. There was one yeah, day. No, there, I no. took the day off, bro. I think there was one day. <laughs> I was, there was one day during bus trip that really got me. I was like, no. Nah. I think the <laughs> next one after work, I didn't leave. Even my mama, even my mama, not told me, oh, book and I don't leave when it's not worth it. I'll be so real. It's kind of worse because you have such a great distance as well. 
Um, like, at least with me, if I know that the trains are like, um, let's say I'm finishing work, the trains stop working, I know I can get a bus back, right? But yeah. to go from Russell Square to location that shall not be named, right? Like, after, <laughs> Obviously, you know, yeah. you know, after, you know, when I go central during train show, I have to go to where the bus ends. That's and the, then, that's the worst one. Yeah, now, now I have to go to where the bus starts and where the bus ends. Yeah. Horrible. Yeah, because obviously, like, if you're trying to be in the middle, that thing gets packed, and sometimes the bus driver doesn't even stop it. Yeah. Oh stop. my god. Yeah, even the night, even the night buses are cramped. Night, night number one. Mm. That's that's like the last. That's like the last bus. I that's see like the only every, bus. I see it every time I go Plumstead, mm. and it's just packed. Like I Crazy. remember, I remember was it going up to Elephant Castle? Let's just say when it came to the train track work, everyone in like who was working with me did not even come in at it. I was the only one there. I was legit the only one working. Mm. And then obviously I was getting ready to leave early because I was just thinking, ah, I can't be able to do this. Mm. Uh, I was just saying I was coming in and just do some little thing, get some hours in. But mm-hmm. then the assistant boss came in and I was like, fuck. Oh, and then obviously he stayed with me for like fucking near near before maybe 30 minutes to the end of the day. And I'm like, damn. Brother, I, I was ready to leave at lunch. I'm like, I'm done. <laughs> mm. But then as soon as he came, I was like, for oh, fuck's sake, I can't leave now. But then I was like, you know what? I'll try to use this as a, like, an advantage. Chap. Say, see, I'm coming mm. into work, putting, showing I'm determined so I can get more paper. That shit didn't work. I just wasted my time. <laughs> I'm trying to get more paper, yeah, but it's a struggle. So I'm like, mm. screw it, I will leave. Fair enough, man. Oh, man, that's bad. I need to find a different, need to do a different thing. You know what I'm saying? Even, even something to just hold you down for now, work, man. She goes, I don't even give a damn what type of job I'm doing, bro. Ooh. I feel like if I wasn't apart you know, from working at McDonald's, like, I'm not doing it. Yeah, don't oh do, yeah, don't no, do, don't bro, do, don't I have do. PTSD from the beeping sounds, and I don't even work there. Bro. Don't, don't <laughs> do it, man. Especially, especially at a station, it's worse. Oh yeah, no, bro. you don't want to watch them type of people. No, I could never do that, bro. Could never. I done it. Don't do it. Yeah, you went to Burger King. Bro. Oh you yeah, no, man, that that must have been. Well, because you have people that come in there and complain like it's that's. Like they're trying to rush you to make the order because they're waiting for the bus, and it's like, bro, you just told me the order. It's not like I'm gonna. Joe, Joe, Joe annoyed me the most. Bro. People ask me for tap water. Bro, tap, that's bro, a, a wow. The thing is, I'll just be like, here's a cup, just go drink whatever. Fuck off. <laughs> drink like you, you, <laughs> you know, you know our water's dirty, and you ask me for shit. Like, what is that? Bro, at that point, you just grab it and be like, here's your drink. Fling it in their face, and if it's a carrot, be like, I need to speak with your manager. I need to speak with your manager. And people tell me to do my job. I, I feel like the best. I feel like the best thing to do when someone does, says that is that I am the manager. The thing is, people, <laughs> people do. People do, and they'll be like, "I don't believe you're the manager." He's like, "Oh, well, then who's your supervisor?" Oh and it's just they're like, "They're not here." It's like, "Well, call them." Even during the shift, you know what I do? I serve like normal. I serve like normal people. Mm. But when I see like role men and and people with dri- and people dressed up, I just go, "I don't yeah. want to serve them." Because they're, they're, fa- they're the ones with the most attitude. To be fair, so of course. I mean, the only reason I know is because I technically done that already. <laughs> the reason because is because Wednesday, I think when me, him, Marlon, was Shamak there as well? Because I know Tyrese was there. I think, yeah, I think Shamak was there. So all up in, uh, was it, Oxford? Yeah, this is like maybe about two in the morning. Mm. Yeah. Every, like, I was going to this last McDonald's, it's open. But there's about 30 people there waiting always, for their order. Always, and always. the thing is, there's maybe about five McDonald's workers. Yeah? Oh, yeah. I paid for my thing, but... As I'm trying to wait for the receipt, I didn't see the number at the point and there was no paper, so I don't know what the fuck my number was. Mm. So I'm just trying to tell the guy, this was my order. So what I got was 20 nuggets, three large fries. I've seen my order go, but he gives it to someone else. <laughs> then I've seen my order again, mm-hmm. gives it to someone else. Oh. So I'm like, bro, where is my order? No, because like, they got no, because it was a long line. And the thing, thing is, there was loads of people waiting because their orders, like they've been waiting for like more than 30 minutes. So mm. as I'm trying to tell him, yeah, next thing you know, He's just there like, where's the receipt? Where's the... I'm like, your machine didn't give me the paper. Yeah. Mm. And he's like, well, I don't know what... I'm telling you what the order is. He's like, I paid for it. I'm not leaving this until I get my shit, unless you give me that refund. I, I mean, like, fair enough. Yeah. But then, because he made it so fucking hard, I started to get even more pissed off, because I'm like, bro, the food's right, to, right there. Just pass me the thing, and I can go. Mm. He just well, why, did, why did you take the picture, though? Huh? The receipt? You didn't get didn't it. Get no, it. no, no, get the number, the number. Why did you see the picture? I didn't see the number at the time. Because obviously, as I've gone... Yeah, right, so once you do it, I'm going to see... That's the one thing I hate. That's the one thing I hate. It's more better if they have like, the flipping notification at the top saying, there is no paper, mm. like, for it to be loaded up. But so, sometimes what they do in that case, what the um, employee should have done, is just say the order out loud. That's the thing, like, uh, they don't mm. do that. Because obviously, this, when it comes to this stupid thing of saying the number, now nah, it's just there, like, Ooh. I mean, mm. it still works. But when it's people like that, you just need to say the actual order mm. rather than the number. So then obviously, now the guy was just getting 
me aggravated, so I'm getting pissed off. I'm like, bro, I'll fully jump over and grab the food and go. Like, I was like, loads of people were technically agreeing with me at this point because they'll get pissed off because the person's taking the piss with the food. Because mm. let's say, to- let's say this now when it comes to the food coming up on the, the little machine, yeah. It comes up every fucking 15 minutes. Yeah. Like one order. Mm. Not flipping 10 orders coming at once. Mm. One order. Damn, bro. I, think I like, guess that's just due to the um, number of workers too, though. And then, but mm. the thing is, but the way they were looking, it looks like they could, they don't give a fuck. That's because I can see in his eyes, like, he's like, I don't give a fuck. What to be fair, night workers, man. Night that's, workers that's, why, that's why it pissed me night off. Night workers, they don't care. That's, why, don't that's why it pissed me off. And then obviously, these already had their order, so I'm waiting for mine. And obviously, I'm getting pissed off about it. And as mm. soon as I. F- now, when I finally get the manager had to come and then just went, fuck it, 20 nuggets, done, chips. And I was like, was it that fucking hard to the worker? Mm. So then as I've got to sit down with these up, the worker that I was flipping arguing with decides to come and then tells me and everyone else, get up and fucking leave the shop. Oh, and then wow. try, And the thing is, get rude to me, but then Tyrus is just there like, okay, but you try to get rude to Tyrus as well. He's like, hey, why are you trying to get onto me for? I didn't do shit. Yeah, I mean, bro, I mean... And then, you can't take accountability. But then obviously from that point, then obviously everyone just mocked me for it. They'd be like, why'd you have to allow your road man side just to be just for freedom? Like, brother, whoa, 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 whoa. That, nah, man. If, if, if I pay for that, everyone got onto me for right. it. If and, I pay for that, I'm getting my worth. What the hell? Yeah, but obviously everyone got to me saying, why didn't you just see the number? I'm like, because I didn't fucking see it at the time. Because I'm waiting for the yeah. paper. So it's not like my eyes are going to be doing this. Never, like one eye down, one waste, eye up. Never waste your money like that, bro. You did the right thing, man. So obviously I'm getting pissed off. Like, if you're taking a piss, I mm. know my order's there. But you're gonna act like a dumbass, then I'm going to get mad. Right? Yeah, fair enough. Because I'm like, at that time, I'm hungry. Mm. Like, I'm not gonna just stand there while everyone else eats and I'm not even gonna eat me. Can't <laughs> do that. Fair enough. And then when I finally got the order and just left, and then Flipping Tyrus is mocking it, trying to say, nah, he's gonna try and make sure every McDonald's you go to, you're banned. And I'm like, I don't give a shit. Oh, grab my food and go. I don't want like that, man. I'm thinking if I swear him again, the thing is, the guy was Indian as well. Damn. And the thing is, when it comes to them certain, like when it comes to the rude ones, them ones don't give a fuck. Mm. But when it comes to the nice ones, that's, they'll do it quick, just mm. instant. Cause they're like, okay, I like the customer feedback. If they respect it, yeah, I respect you. Yeah, at the end of the day, it's not just about the food, it's about the customer service. That, you it, bro. that just shows that you're, you're shite. Your food could be good, but if you don't have good customer service, you do lose a lot. Mm. That's the thing. People aren't going to be willing to go there. And then obviously, I can tell like if there's like certain people who come in, they'll probably think I'm like a male Karen, bro. But I'm like, bro, mm. I just need my food. Facts. I'm like, it's not that hard. Especially in that t- <laughs> that time in the morning too. Bro. I'm just there. Like, ain't I'm messing just, around. Bro. Yeah, I'm just there, like, bro. The food's there. Please just pass it. I will go. Mm. But the thing is, when I did get my order, I didn't even get my full amount. But I was like, I just don't give a shit. I'm just, I'm just. Yeah, yeah, at least I got something to eat. I'm hungry. <laughs> can you imagine one customer telling me, told me it was like, if you don't rush, I'm, I'm gonna go to McDonald's. I was like, oh then. Bitch, what the fuck? <laughs> so what are you doing? What kind of a threat is that? <laughs> I was like, if you don't hurry up and give me all that, I'm gonna go to McDonald's. Okay. I was like, go then. Like, what the I'm fuck? Like, by, by all means, they'll do the same thing with it. Wait, and you already paid for it, right? No, they didn't pay. Oh, okay. I was gonna uh, say because it's like, <laughs> you okay, pay for it. Go McDonald's then. Go just... McDonald's then. You fucking mm. care, bro. <laughs> even I know the. Even some, I know the some, food stretch. Some people are just funny. But but the only good thing about it, if you worked in the like McDonald's or something is that you'll get like a great discount and some free food to go home. I don't want discount, I want free food. I mean don't you get it? Don't you get that free no, food? No, we got discounts. Oh that's fine. Oh. Then I again mean, then again, when um what is it, what's his name? I think was it Josh, when he worked in there, fucking like, was it? he had his discount or whatever. I was like, cool, I'm gonna use that discount. Mm. And what is it? Let's say if you bought like twenty nuggets and certain certain it comes to like thirteen pound. Mm. Yeah. Paid off him, used his discount, came to like three pounds. Wow. Now it's sick. That's why I was like, cool. Like if you have a friend that's working in there, but obviously I'm not his friend. I just realised this is a story time episode. <laughs> yeah, bro. Yeah, this is just a story, story time really episode. Is- it's, it's a story time, guys. But yeah, obviously when it comes oh. to that, it's good though. Like if you have someone who doesn't really give a crap about life, whatever, but they work in McDonald's, use them for the discount. Mm. And that's what you did. Yep. That's what I did. All that still, the greatest discount I ever seen was those 199 vouchers, bro. Oh yeah, them as well. Them man. ones. Bro, mm. Them 199 vouchers were different. Man. Mm. I rarely see them though. But no, no, I think they don't do them anymore. They, they, they definitely don't do them. I mean, think about it, the Big Mac and stuff like that are so pricey now. I mean, There's no way they can do it. Yeah, because the only voucher they get is like, oh, we get like one free. Monopoly free stuff. Bag. To be fair. Yeah. Monopoly stuff is how they do it now. 
collect. There was people used to religiously collect them though. Bro, I did. <laughs> I did the same. I did not. Yeah, I did. I did. I did. I, did I was collecting because I was like, just in case, it, if I magically somehow. The got. only thing I think I want was some sort of egg McMuffin thing. Yeah, but it was, Bro, that's, it was always a problem because when it comes to getting it, everyone just wanted to just get Mayfair. That's all it was. Just get Mayfair. What was special about Mayfair? Because if you have Mayfair and uh, Park Lane with that on the Monopoly thing. Once you put that code in, you would win, what is it, 100 grand? Oh! Mm. Yeah, that was oh. it. That's the only reason. But then if you get all the uh, the greens, you will get a uh, car. Either oh, car. I didn't think it was either, that I, far. No, either money or car or PlayStation. No, no, because some, no, some of them put PlayStation. No, PlayStation was on the yellow. Oh. I didn't think it was that much. I thought it was just only like mm-hmm. menu items. Wow. No, no, no. Because like, you always, you always, you see it on the posters trying to say if you get like the main two dark blues, mm-hmm. you'll win a hundred grand. That's wow. why everyone would always go crazy buying McDonald's like mad. Uh huh. Because they're like, I'm trying to get a hundred grand to get out of this problem, whatever, be out of debt or whatever. Fair That's enough. really all it is for me. I'll just be like, I want to see if, I, if it's true. If I get a hundred grand, boy, oh boy, I'll be good for that. Mm. Just put that. Nice. I put a grand in investments and try to make some more money. You know what I'm saying? That's, if you have money, if you can always try more to buy. But then again, when it comes to the Mayfair, there's only four. You only get four of those. Mm. So technically, only four people can win 100 grand. wonder how those stories turned out, huh? I think some people did, but, but when I see it, I'm like, right, what the fuck do these all live at? Well, you know what's funny? When people win the lottery, I feel like they always pick the idiotic people. Now, I'm not, now obviously, in terms of that, like it's not picked, is it? It's but not. like obviously, like it's just like the people who do win us... So irresponsible with it sometimes. I saw if one, I win I saw the lottery, one, I would. Oh. I saw one person won the lottery, and do you know what he's spending on? What? Just money, dr- just drugs and women. Yeah. I saw. I saw. He, I saw he won like three point two mil. Yeah, I think so. And then yeah. after after when he lost that money, he went back to his normal job. But really and truly, though. If if, we, I, if win, I if I won the lottery, I not a lot. I dis- no, I dis- I disappear for two weeks. And then think what I'm gonna do with the money. Just two weeks. So yeah, yeah. I would, I would, no, I would no. take the opportunity to probably move country if I could. But the thing is, but don't forget, you once you win mad money, you would still need to think. Okay, with this amount of money, what can how I can I make it last? Double that. How oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh true. Yeah, so, so therefore you would have something even when you come to a retirement or whatever, you would still have loads yeah, of money. Yeah, yeah. Just say, definitely. Yeah. Get that, that's that's the whole idea with it. That's, that's really what it is. I mean, you're allowed to splurge, but as long as you have some sort of self control. Of course, but yeah, if you know if you know you're spending, so like, okay, I'll do this section here all that money. When I first clear your debts, anything like that. Yeah, yeah, that's the first thing. That's so the first. Always, thing. Yeah. Then you maybe might you might take care of a family or member or something like that. Mm. Re- personally, if I am to win, I don't think I'm telling. A lot of family can't know. Simple as well. Oh, definitely. A lot of family can't like, know. With, um, with, um, what's his name? Chris, Chris Tucker? Oh, he said, now, what is it? When he won 20 mil, and he said that way, his family said, we rich. And he's like, no, I'm, I'm rich. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it's no, but it's real though. I mean, like, I don't know, man. I just, nah, man. Too many problems come with it because then people will be wanted too much. Man. Yeah, of course. Yeah. They really want too much, man. Come on, man. Yeah. Like, they'll just be thinking, I want a new house. I want a new car. Exactly, and then be like, okay, but why do why? Or even if even think in terms of like friendships and stuff, people are just gonna expect so much more of you. Man. No, that's that's why I, me. I would still have a humble car. I would still be a type of humble home and stuff mm. like that. Live comfortably. I'm happy. Oh no, no man! I'm out. just happy to get a normal family like, car. If like, obviously, like there's dream cars. Obviously, like, no, you're not. Yeah, like obviously it's a good car. But you see, when it comes to hybrid, people can actually just pull up to next to your car. Laptop, boom! They unlock your car, and drive off with it. Yeah, but what? Ca- yeah, but what? Yeah, what but I mean, that's a, that's a very rare case of no. That because happened. let's put it. So when I was working, my boss bought the at the time bought the newest Range Rover, which was the Range Rover Discovery. That's Range Rover. That's yeah. only Range Rover. I know Range Rovers get stolen all the time. Hmm. But obviously, he had it in his driveway, and he had like closed gates or whatever. He sees on the camera, people just pulled up laptop, do do, cars open. Damn. And I was when he tried. So then, what can so then what can you get us? Hmm. What? You just make sure you just don't get anything Stick that to the has Ford anything Fiesta's to do with electric. <laughs> no, even full Fiesta gets rubbers off. Well. Yeah, of course, that's, Gee, that's normal. Well, Keep, well. Of how they would do it is like you know what you know what they need. They need a steering lock. Mm. Yeah, sometimes yeah, but then but then you got people that would actually do that madness extreme that they'll pull up and then have like some next up mini grinder to just cut it off so they can get. Really yeah, and truly, like, yeah, any rem- cars in Jane danger. Really, no, really like, really like remember you seen like a little clip of a video where you had two people up in Surrey Keys in front of everyone trying to steal a bike that's on. Thing, and you see one of them grinding off the lot. Wow. 
and then it's just like in broad daylight it's like you man are desperate desperate True. Like when I saw that, I was like, bro, what makes you stoop that low to still maybe a 300 pound bike? Mm-hmm. I'm so, so. Oh, yeah, that, oh yeah, this ain't my car. This car's from my mum, bro. Of course, when it comes to the Porsche SUV, that is the it's beauty. Comfy, that is comfy. You see, if I buy one Porsche, I don't feel like buying another one. Yeah, of course, you just. Because that's, that's, my, that's my mum's Porsche. Mm-hmm. I just thought, like, yeah, I own a Porsche, but it's actually my mum's. Let me see. And then, you know, E Class. Of course, yeah, of man. course. That, that, that car but the only thing I'll change is um no 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 not the rims I, no black I, I need I need to change it to black mirrors and then black um Wait, change the you... cr- change the chrome to black oh fair yeah enough. that's about it but the rims are fine though I mean yeah because for that car that's like the comfortability like I've got like, I'm yeah seven. also is mid luxury mm-hmm. like I don't yeah. want like it's, I don't want I don't want, anything I don't want supreme luxury like yeah, you don't want you don't want to stand out because uh, even yeah. though you got you got, pe- you got people like that who do stand out <laughs> but. They like it because obviously then they'll just use that to their advantage mm. to think, how the fuck did you get this? And they'll be like, cool, I'll tell you how to do it. You know what's an underrated aspect of buying a car? What? Generally, the fact that you go consider what area you live in as well. Oh, yeah. Like, in terms of, because let's say, for example, right, you live somewhere like really shabby and then all of a sudden you have like a like a really good car. Mm. People are going to look at you a bit shady. Like, how you get that? Mm. You know? Yeah. I think, because I remember, like, I saw a video as well of someone... Talking about how he had like expensive cars, and I think he said he pulled up in his like Lamborghini to a petrol station, mm. and then like he just had a look at one person across struggling to even pay for the petrol, and then he looked at it and went, "I don't like how I am. I don't like the fact that I'm here living good of good money, bought an expensive car, while there's people out here that are really struggling to even put petrol in their car. So then what person decided to do was legit just sell all of it." all of his expensive cars and then just stick with the the normal cars because he's like i can't mm. be trying to show off while people are struggling because then that just gives that but again i think there's a there's a thing of you can have luxury you can obviously have nice things but not too much though. yeah no i mean you it it's really depends on the person at the end of the day man mm. really truly because i would like to have a nice car of course would yeah. i like to have a collection of them not really i mean if i'm never going to touch half of them what's the point Right? I feel like the experience of having the cars being able to drive it. Some people have cars and have like, them as souvenirs. No, yeah, because I you think know? I think it's more best like if you do want to have a collection of cars. Like that's don't, too much money to like, pay with him. Like opinion. don't don't have more than flipping ten cars at least. Not even more than five. Just have at least three. Mm. Three cars. Like one to cruise around, one to maybe drive to work if you're still working up but and then one to go on trips. Yeah. No, I want. I got one. I got one for the man, then one to blend in, and then the other one for like just go out and century. I just want one normal one and one as a treat. Yeah, for me, yeah, I see. Yeah. Like, I'll just stick to what I want is like one I could take to like just travel. The but then world you got to think of insurance and all that. Yeah, so the like, travel the world. Cool. Yeah, the, uh, that's why I think of like car to travel the world around mm. with one that I could just use on my daily life. I'm just driving from A to B, mm. B to A, whatever. Then obviously you have like the third one if like obviously when you have your family or whatever, mm. just have that as a family car. Or something to drive to work and then boom. Loki, this might be stupid, but Loki want a minibus. That's fine. Yeah. That's like, fine. I mean, I mean, because you, you could take that. You could take that what to. That's what I'm saying. I I, I want a minibus, man. Mm. What kind like of minibus? I, I don't know. Just like a, not like a full on bus, but just something nice, man. Like a nice no, carrier. Mm. <laughs> or thing for trips and stuff. Right, like a vehicle. Mm. 